So hey guys, it's Eden Fruits, and today, as you guys probably already read the title, we're gonna learn how to make some candles. Um, for the holidays, you may light candles as a tradition, or simply to decorate your house to make it look beautiful for guests. Um, so first, we're gonna learn how to make a candle. That's very simple, very quick. A candle that you could practically make in 10 seconds. Um, and this candle you'll be making out of butter, just like cooking butter, nothing special. And then we're going to do a little improvement to that candle. And next I'll show you how to make a candle out of old wax and crayons. Um, and since we're dealing with fire, make sure you have one of these. Or just make sure you have a lot of water. Um, this is a CO2 fire extinguisher. Make sure it actually has CO2 because if it doesn't, and your fire gets uncontrollable with no CO2 you're gonna have a problem so just heads up um, make sure you keep the fire controlled at all times um, so first the candle that I said that we're gonna make out of butter um, this is just a small example this is just a bit of butter and how I said that you can make this candle in 10 seconds um, well practically it is 10 seconds because you just get a little bit of butter um, you get a match you light it and you stick it in that's basically our first candle how I said um, and believe me or believe this or not but this will actually burn for quite a long time um, this actually works because back in the old days they used to make candles out of nothing but animal fat they used to make candles out of nothing but animal fat, and I mean back in the 60s. Um, so this will actually burn for quite a good time. So the improvement that I said that we were going to do to this one is um, you simply take a little candle wick and you just stick it in the middle and then you light that. So as you can see, if we light this one. It gives it a bit more of that real candle effect. Um, this should last a long time. Oh, my bad. Alright, so this is the quick candle that I said we could basically make in 10 seconds. Put that aside. Um, now, for reusing candles, get an empty soda can. And to the empty soda can, you're going to want to cut the top off. Um, try to cut as minimum as possible and if you're squeamish about cutting yourself you could just put like packing tape on the top but what I did is I got sandpaper and I just sand this down um, but now that you have that put pieces of wax like old candles um, etc like crayons whatever you want um, and then put it on the stove for it to melt because since wax has a low m melting point um, it actually melts and becomes into the, its liquid form very quick uh, make sure you have a parent or use an oven mitten when your solid wax has become liquid entirely um, because since this is metal it's tin the, the can will be hot so be careful um, if you have, uh, say, a white candle and you're reusing it and you want to change the color of that candle, um, just add a crayon or two of, the cho of your choice. Any color, it's up to you um, before you actually start melting this. Um, also, you could put items inside the candle that don't burn easily, like fake butterflies, etc. Whatever you want to decorate and you'll see it in the wax. Um, so to actually make the wick in the middle, it's very easy to make the wick when this is actually in the stove and it's in its liquid form. Um, just dip a little bit of string, just dip it and then put it off like at a plate aside for it to cool off. Um, and that's basically how you make a wick. And once this is in its liquid form, you could just leave it sit out, like sitting out or put it in the freezer or fridge. 
The only problem when you do that is when you have your candle and you put it in the freezer for too long, it gets a hole in the middle. I don't know why. Um, but see, what I did is that last night um, I lit the fire pit and I just put these to rest on top. And then last night it was like around 64 degrees. So I just let it rest outside and they actually came out beautiful. Alright, so like this is my finished candle. As you can see it's two colors. These, the one on top is the reused candles. And the one in the bottom is uh, crayons. So I'm guessing that crayons and regular candles have different densities. And that's why I got two layers of two different colors. Um, honestly, I think this is really cool. But it's all up to you. Alright. So also what I did since I was letting it sit out at night, which I highly recommend. I stuck a toothpick inside when it was cooling off. So like the top layer was a solid and all in the middle was still liquid. So I just stuck a toothpick and let it cool that way. Um, but if your candle becomes fully solid, what you could do is just take a toothpick and with the toothpick just light it so it becomes hot and then just poke down the middle. Um, you could also do this with the needle. You'll probably get better results with the needle anyways. Um, so this is basically my finished candle and as you could probably see it lights very good I actually put three wicks on this candle so let me light it real fast so how I said I put three wicks on this candle and this is basically my finished candle um to get this from this, all you got to do is simply cut the tin can, like you cut it, and then you just peel it off. You just peel it off, but be very careful not to cut yourself. I personally like to leave the bottom, the bottom of the can, so when the wax drips, it doesn't go straight to the bottom. It, like, kind of catches itself. Now, that's basically it, you know. The sky's the limit, like you can make any colors as much as you want to, anything. So go out there, be free. Um, thanks for watching, I really hope you guys learned how to make a candle out of recycled candles and crayons, or just one simply out of butter. Um, happy holidays, be safe, and see you next time. Later.